Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the animation spoofer plugin. Now, we've got a new update where you can automatically spoof the animations. So first, I'm going to show you how to spoof the animations manually, the normal way. And then I'm going to go over the new feature, which is the auto spoofer later on in the video. I'm going to leave timestamps in the description below so you can find the part you're looking for. First step is to install the plugin. I'll leave a link to this page in the description below. You can also find a link to this in my Discord. Um, so just press install and it's going to do this. As you can see, once it's installed, it's going to let you know. Now press OK. Now once it's installed, you want to find your animation. So I'm going to be using my advanced movement system to demonstrate this to you. Now you can either find an animation that looks something like this. It will be inside of somewhere in the Explorer. Um, just press on it and it's going to tell you if it's an animation. So it's going to say properties, animation, whatever. It's going to give you an animation ID. Now there's another way to find it. An example of this is the LAN local script. So open it up, double click it, and it's going to give you an animation ID. As you can see right here, this is an animation ID. So whichever way, just find your animation. Now, once you found your animation ID, keep it copied and you want to open up the animation speed for plugin. So go into the plugins tab, which is up here, press it and look for the animation spoofer plugin now if it doesn't show here then go to the very left side and open up manage plugins once it's been opened it's going to give you a list of all the plugins you have and what you want to do is you just want to find the animation spoofer plugin now make sure it looks like this um, with this green thing like it's enabled it has to be enabled so once you've enabled it you can close out of this so go back into the animation spoofer and you want to paste your animation id into this little box right here so press ctrl v and paste it in and it's going to show you what the animation looks like and just press convert now on this screen right here if you wish to change anything then you can so the creator down here has to be set as the same place where the game is published so if this game's on my profile i'm going to keep it as me but if it's on a group change it to whichever group you want it to be on now if you want to change the animation priority then you can close out of this box right here press discard now in the properties it's going to show you priority you can just change it here um, but i'm not going to change it and you can also change if it's looped or not so you can so you can do everything inside of here now if you've made any changes you can go back into here and press convert again all the changes are going to apply so then you can just press submit and then once you press submit you're going to be on this screen uh press this copy button right here it's going to copy the id the new id that you got close out of this um, go back to the animation that you spoofed which in my case is the crouch animation so i'm going to go to the crouch animation and i'm going to replace the animation id with the new one so this is the new one i'm going to press i'm going to paste it in and i'm going to press enter now just like that the crouch animation has been spoofed now i'm going to show you how to do it one more time for the land animation id which is inside of the land script so i'm going to copy this id Control c or obviously right click and copy close out of that and then paste the id into the animation spoofer and then i'm going to press convert if you want to change any um any properties you can do so here and then i'm going to press submit copy this close out and then go back into the land script and then select numbers only the numbers and paste it in once you've done that you've spoofed the animation now i'm going to go over the auto spoofer which is the animation spoofer plugins new feature so what you want to do is you want to press this little folder icon it's going to open up this thing with a bunch of settings and you want to go down to your place all animations press on it it's going to say starting conversion just wait for it to do its thing and once it's started it's going to bring up this box on your screen uh, press submit and this time you don't need to copy the numbers, just press the X button at the top and then press escape on your keyboard. Now, as you can see, it just popped up again. This time it's the walk animation. So I'm just gonna press submit and close out. And then I'm gonna press escape on my keyboard. So this is just gonna automatically spoof every animation inside of your game. It's gonna spoof it for you. Now this feature is actually a little bit buggy. Sometimes things can be in the wrong places and animations could be weird, but um, as far as I know, it works well enough, I guess, but if you want to be accurate, I suggest that you manually spoof it. Now, the reason why it could be buggy is because it is an experimental feature, so it isn't like fully implemented yet, it's still like being made, I guess, so it does tell you some steps to follow down here, so if you do want to read, um, just scroll down a little bit more and it tells you. 
Okay, so once all the animations have been auto spoofed, as you can see, it says conversion complete. Now, once that has been done, you can close, you can come off the plugin. So now you want to set your game to R6 or R15, whichever body type that the animations are. Now, if all the animations that you spoofed are R6 animations, change your game to R6. If the animations were R15, then change your game to R15. You can see I didn't spoof this walking animation and same as the jump, but it is working thanks to the auto spoofer. And if my game is R6, it'll work properly. So that's how you use the animation spoofer and its new feature, the auto spoofer. If you have any problems with the animation spoofer, let me know down below and I'll try to help you out. And yeah, 